Good morning, I'm Ted with Drone Ted. Today I'm going to demonstrate how we center the camera on a Phantom 3, Advanced Pro or Standard when you've rebuilt the camera and it no longer points straight ahead, it either points left or right. Very common problem. The first thing I do is remove the camera, remove the small cover, which is right here goes right here. This is the cover I've removed. There's a set screw. You can see it plainly. You put an Allen wrench in the set screw. You loosen it. Then you turn the shaft from the back. You can turn the shaft and when you've turned it part way around, usually just to the edge of the flat spot on either left or right, and you have to experiment. This is not a a quick fix. You tighten it down on the shaft again and then you put it back on the drone and see where it points and you have to keep doing this until you get it pointed straight ahead. Once you've done that and you can see that it's going to work okay, you have good video pointing straight ahead, it's on the shaft but not on the flat spot. At this point you can do one of two things. You can stop, tighten it down on the shaft, securely and just fly your drone. Or you can move the magnet which is a more permanent solution for this particular problem. And to do that we remove the cover. Carefully flip up on the two locking tabs or on the standard there's one. Flip up very carefully. Those black tabs will pop off and then you've got a real issue. You take out the ribbon cable, you remove it from that, pull the, pull the uh, bearing off, and the bearing goes on either way. Now you loosen it. Remove the gimbal from the main board. Now, in order to get to the uh, yaw motor, we have to remove this screw, which I believe is a T6. Pop this out. In here, you'll see another locking tab for the yaw motor. Same thing, you have to carefully pop that up with a fingernail. Take out the ribbon cable, remove the main board. Now, here's the magnet. It's right here. Right there is the magnet. You can see the screw just stuck to it. We have to take that out, the yaw motor. And as you're taking these three screws out that hold the yaw motor in, most of the time the magnet will grab them on you. In this case it grabbed one. And I use tweezers to remove them. The second one. There's the third one. Managed to get the magnet on all three. Now to get this out of here we've got the three screws out. You tilt this forward a little bit, lift up on the uh, ribbon cable, and pop it out. Here's the yaw motor with the magnet. Now the next thing I do is I take a, an exacto and I make a scratch mark on the magnet, on the top of the magnet, right in the center of the flat spot. So that I'll know where that magnet is, where I started with it. Because I'll have to keep moving it to get it in the right position. The next thing we have to do is loosen the magnet from the shaft. And they've used either red Loctite or some kind of epoxy to hold it in position. I take my finger, 
hold down on the ribbon cable because if you burn that you have to buy a new one I take a pair of small pair of needle nose pliers put it underneath just like that at this point I take some acetone fingernail polish remover same thing with a cotton swab and I put acetone all around this to help loosen the glue get it in here get it all around the shaft you can't hurt it any and then I fire up the torch and I'm not going to bother because I've already loosened the magnet I hold it in front of the torch like this turning the yaw motor and letting it spin on the needle nose pliers putting a slight upward pressure until finally it comes loose. Once you get it loose, don't touch it. The shaft is hot. Take more acetone, put it on the shaft all around here to cool the shaft off. Also removes the glue. And when you get it cooled down, you'll be able to slide the magnet off. You don't have to take it off, just slide it up. You may have to take the exacto again, clean some of this glue off of here because it's There'll still be some right there at the top of that ridge. Now I take the magnet. I can see the mark. And I turn that mark around. Depending on how far I had to go with the uh, set screw when I found the flat, found where it centered. And if it was just to the left or to the right of the flat spot. I put it on the opposite side to start with so if it was on the left side of the flat spot I put it on the right side the mark I reassemble everything put it back in and test it I'm not, I don't have to do this right here I can do this this back in the screws back in I use magnetized screwdrivers, especially on this because you're you're dealing with a magnet that's going to grab it. Now, the magnet's still loose on that shaft. I put this back together because you're going to be able to get to the magnet even, even with this cover on. Tweezers, carefully put that back in. Lock it down. Pop that in position. Put that T6 torque screw back in. Tighten that down. Now you can, with your fingernails, you can still get to that magnet, lift it up and move it. We put this all back together and we test it and see if it centers. And I'm not going to go through all of that because you may have to take it apart four or five times, pulling this back off, putting it back on. But you can do this from here. You can lift this with your fingernails, turn it a little bit, push it back down, go a little bit at a time. When you get it to the spot where it centers perfectly, then I use red Loctite. You have to use this, red, high temperature Loctite. You can't use the blue. When we get it perfect, then I put red Loctite around this magnet, usually on both sides. And I let it sit for about an hour till it sets. I reassemble everything and you should be done.
as long as you didn't move the magnet when you were putting the red Loctite on. But when you get all done, the camera should center and you'll be good. The simple method, as I, I would like to repeat that, is to lock the set screw on the shaft but not on the flat spot and use it that way. The only problem with that method is if it comes loose on the shaft because it's not on the flat spot anymore you may have a problem. And that's my demonstration on how to do that. You need a small torch like this, small pair of needle nose pliers, tweezers, an exacto, cotton swabs, acetone, number six, Allen wrench, and you're good to go.